everyone. I'm Monis Lagam with your Fox News Now update. A tragic story from Pritchard. A 14 year old Viger student gunned down. His body found near a church not far from his house. Police not releasing his name at this time, but the teen's mother telling Fox News off camera that his name is Dalen McBride. Investigators say he was shot a number of times. They are still working to figure out where the shooting happened. Police ask if you have information, no matter how small you think it might be, come forward. The masked gunman who opened fire on three people at point blank range at a midtown gas station in 2018 in court today. 24 year old Emmanuel McAlpine pleading guilty to three counts of attempted murder and sentenced to three life sentences for each victim. Well, in Hattiesburg, four people dead after a plane crash last night, a small aircraft plummeting into a home just after 11 o'clock. The victims range in age from 2 to 67. The cause of that crash is under investigation. In Montgomery now, nearly 10 hours of debate legislation to authorize medical marijuana in Alabama stalled in the state house of representatives. Uh, Republican opponents used a filibuster to temporarily delay a vote. The bill would allow people with a qualifying medical condition to purchase marijuana after a recommendation from their doctor. The bill is expected to go back to the house for tomorrow. The Mobile Area Water and Sewer System reporting a temporary fix to a broken pipe that's in the Cypress Shore subdivision. Uh, they said it was held up because of the rain that they got this week. The broken pipe was responsible, they say, for more than 500 gallons of sewage spilling about a week ago. A spokesperson for Moss telling us that a contractor is supposed to install a permanent replacement next week. All right, let's track conditions across the Gulf Coast region after seeing a ton of rain around here yesterday, last night, and some of the rain totals in South Baldwin County, nearly 10 inches of rain. We had some flooding reported near 59 on County Road 12 in the Foley area, so it's been very eventful there. Like what we're seeing here in our future cast modeling as the rain is getting out of the picture for us, we still can have a few leftover showers this evening, but generally we're talking about gradual clearing this evening, and we'll trend over to sunny conditions on your Thursday with beautiful weather ahead for the next several days and that includes our weekend a great looking extended forecast tomorrow mild early temperatures on the rise we get up into the middle 60s by mid morning and then by the lunchtime hour sitting at 76 warm degrees then into the afternoon nice and dry and temps around 80 should be a great spring day tomorrow it's always nice to have those beautiful spring like days in the wake of messy weather we've seen plenty of that lately here's what we have in the extended forecast plenty of sunshine through Saturday. It looks like Mother's Day is going to be nice as well. We may get an isolated shower there. A little stronger onshore flow. Highs near 80. Overnight lows will be cooler in the 50s and lower 60s. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10.